In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the interactive circle infographic widget by Unlimited Elements. Let's go over the settings of the interactive circle infographic. So it looks like this. And when you click on each one of the buttons, the text, the title, and the text, they change. And you have two modes. The first mode is first selected. This means that the first item will be selected. So if it's yes, then the first item is selected like you see right over here. If you want some intro text, you can select no, and then it ta takes the text from here, the title and the text, so you can change those off. So these three set first settings are connected. The next setting is for the separator color, which you have over here. It's the separator between the title and the description. If you want to turn this off, you can just change the opacity and drag that down to something that's with full opacity. Or you can change the color to whatever color you want, for example, like I just did now. The button background color is these buttons, so we can change that as well to whatever we want. Let's change them, for example, to yellow and see how that looks. Perfect. And then we have the selected button. Right now, none of the buttons are selected, but if I click on one of them, you can see that it looks different. So if we want to change the color of the selected one, we can change that to whatever we want. Click on it, and now you can see it's with a white background. The border color is the border that we see in the big circle and also around the selected circle. So let's change that to something else, for example. Here you go, and if we click, you can see that the selected one has the same color as the big circle. Let's change that to black. Perfect, looking good. And over here, we also have an option for button color. This is the color of the icon and the text inside of the button. I'm going to change that also so you can see here it is green and now you can see it as black. Perfect. So this is starting to look cool. Let's change the separator also to black. Perfect. Next setting is the border width. So as we said before, like the border color affects also the big circle and the small selected circle. Also, when you change the slider with the border width, it will change both of these. So you can play around with that. The next two settings are show text in button and show icon in button. So we're talking about this icon and text. If you want to turn them on or off, for example, right now I took off the text and we are left only with the icon. And you can do the same with the icon and just leave on the text. You are going to want one of these to be selected. You can't turn both of them off. The button circle size is the size of this circle over here. You can play around with the size to get different layouts. And this is a responsive field. So if we're going to move into tablet view, we can change the size to be smaller, for example, and this will affect only the view we are in. So if I'm going to move from tablet to desktop, you can see that it's back to 108 as we determined in desktop. Icon size is the inner icon size. To see it, we need to turn back the icon on. And now we can play around with the size of the icon. This field is as well a responsive field, so you can determine the size in each screen resolution. The circle size is about the big circle. So right now it's 400. If I'm going to change this to 500, it will populate again and calculate where all the buttons need to be and place them accordingly. Circle padding is the big circle padding. And if you want to push the text inside a little bit more, you can play around with the padding, maybe more or less, whatever you want. This as well is a responsive field. The next things that we need to check out are the items. So these are the items 
and right now we're working with six items if we delete an item then you will see and and save and update you will see that the calculations of the placement of the buttons renders automatically so you don't need to push them specifically each one where it will be it's automatically spaced evenly you can also play around with the sort and drag drag and drop them as you like you can delete certain items you can duplicate certain items everything you have in the regular elementor items if we open an item up you can see that it's built from a title so the title will go over here inside of the button and it will go here as well so it changes in two places and the text is the text that you see down here the icon is the icon that changes over here for example we're right now in item number two which is right over here let's choose a different icon just for example purposes and click insert there you go now you can see it over here and that's how it looks like so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you if you have any comments questions or suggestions please post them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video